Hello everyone and welcome to the Saturday Journal. It was an interesting week at work this week. On Monday, the driver that drives the truck that I load fell asleep at the wheel and crashed the truck, laid it over on its side. The driver is okay, but the truck and the contents in it were ruined. So Tuesday, on about half of my line, I had double orders to replace the items that were destroyed in the truck crash. Never drive tired. I learned this in 2002 on a trip to LA. While I never had an accident, it was an unnerving experience for me. I was working at Papa John's at the time, and the idea was I was scheduled to leave at 5 o'clock. I would drive to Amarillo, Texas on the first night, get there probably around 11 o'clock at night, sleep, and then drive to Phoenix for the next phase of the trip. However, that did not pan out because the manager let the wrong person off at 5 o'clock, and I was stuck at work until 8. So when I finally got off work, I immediately left, but I only got as far as Weatherford, Oklahoma, about three hours. However, I was determined to get to Phoenix, Arizona the next day. So I took off from Weatherford, Oklahoma the next day and drove to Phoenix. And I really should have stopped in Santa Fe, New Mexico. But I was determined to get to Phoenix. Now between Santa Fe and Phoenix are mountains. And it was March, so it was snowing on those mountains and on those roads. That had very few shoulders. So I was not only driving at night in snow, but I was actually tired. And I was very worried that I wasn't going to be able to make it to Phoenix because I thought I was going to crash. At one point, I had rolled down both of my windows in my car to get some cold air going through so that it'll keep me awake. However, I did make it to Phoenix, Arizona. That day, I traveled a total of 15 hours, which is over the limit for truck drivers. And after that trip, I resolved never to drive tired again and never travel more than eight hours a day for a road trip. I've been working on mixing music for the last couple of weeks, and I've only got four songs that need to be tweaked. Everything else is done. After that is done, I have to master and then copyright the songs. Now, I'm not releasing a CD this time. I'm going to put the music onto SoundCloud. It's going to be a regular rotation along with the other music that I've got on there. Tuesdays and Thursdays is when I release music to SoundCloud, so check it out then. Yesterday, I got me a new guitar processor, a Boss ME80. I've been needing new equipment, a better effects pedal, and I really like this one. It has a whole bunch of presets, which are awesome, but I'm going to work on trying to find my own sound with it. Anyways, that's the Saturday Journal. Have a good week.